Welcome to another Wonder Build tutorial. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to manage your purchase orders. Let's go ahead and get started. What is a purchase order? It's the outgoing costs associated with your project to your supplier, in which I'll be showing you how to utilize Wonder Build's purchase order process. Let's take a look at a sample job in progress. So if you go over to the left menu, hover over, go into your jobs, and we'll just click on this job as an example. Now here's the estimated cost of the actual job or project. And you can see here the actual true cost. So this will be the costs that you have paid out to your suppliers in which utilize the purchase orders to be able to track that. There's two ways you can create a purchase order, one of which is through the purchase order section and the other way is through the costings. I'll run you through the costing section first. Hover to the mid to the left, go down to your costing. Once here, you've got the categories. Choose a category that you'd like to create the purchase order for. So in this instance, I'll choose concrete. And I'll just select the items I'd like to add to the purchase order. So you can add multiple items. So just check the box to the left of the item. And from there, you can go into the other categories to include and also add additional items. But in this instance, we'll just stick to the concrete category. And you can see here, there's a button saying order items. Doesn't matter where you go, you can click on that button anywhere. So I might just go back to concrete and order the items from here. And from there, you can start to assign the supplier or contact. So for example, if you've already got the supplier in the system, you can utilize that. Otherwise, you can create a new supplier, status, draft, canceled, sent, order date, and delivery date. So this is set to be delivered, for example, by the 12th. And you've got your costing items. You can add additional rows and remove the items here. And from here, you can start to enter the quantity, the cost, and you can also change the category from here too. Now the delivery details, you can specify the information here, but we'll just keep those blank for the time being. You may be dealing with sole traders who aren't registered for GST, so you can check this box to make it GST free. Otherwise you can include the GST in the total. And once you're satisfied with that, click create. Now the purchase order has been created. You'll notice this icon pop up on the right side of each category item that has been included in a purchase order. and what you can also do is you can click this icon to go to the purchase order section, which is here. So let's go ahead and just do that. And that will then take you through to that particular purchase order that's currently in draft at the moment. What you can also do now, you'll notice the options that are in the top right corner. Okay. And click on that, print, send, receive, edit. Let's go ahead and edit this purchase order just to make sure everything is good. And once you've made any adjustments, if need be, you can go ahead and click on update. And perhaps you're ready to send the purchase order to the supplier. Go back up to the options and click on send. Utilizing Wonderbuild, you can now send it directly to your supplier from Wonderbuild. And you can see here, it's pulled up the email address from the supplier that we entered when we originally created the purchase order. And let's create the subject and compose the message to the supplier. You can add the attachment and there's the original PDF for the order. Click on that to preview. Automatically attached. And once you're happy with that message, send. You'll see here that this particular purchase order has been sent. And you'll notice that under all orders, you can see the previous purchase order that was already received, one that's in draft, and of course the one we just sent. Utilizing Wonderbuild's purchase order process is a great way to manage your workflow, making it much easier to manage your purchase orders. And now that, for example, if you finalize this purchase order, what you can do is click on options and then click on receive. And then from there, you can create the reference. Click on the date that it was received. And then you can have a look at the amounts to make sure that it matches the receipt. And for example, the cost may have been 400 for this and 699 for that. And now those figures you can see have been amended. You can drag and drop to upload your receipt or document. And once everything looks good, click on receive. 
You can see under all orders, top left, the status has now been changed to received. Now you can see when you go back over to your overview of that particular job, you'll notice under the job budget that the true cost has cost now $3,821. Of course, that measures your uh, gross profit. And you can validate that amount by going back over to your purchase orders. And you can see here that it's based on these two items. Now, the second way of creating a new purchase order is simply by doing it through this section here. So create new, set the details, supplier delivery date. Now, what you can do is start searching for items. So when you type in an item, it will bring up the main categories for that particular category item. And for example, you might do something like carport roofing. You'll notice that you'll pull up the costing categories and that's been linked. Uh, what I'd like to show you is how that works and what if you'd like to create a brand new item. So for example, let's do this. And the true cost of that is, make that 10,000. And what we'd like to do is perhaps set a different category. So you can click the drop down, scroll through, or you can search for the category by typing. You see it's not currently linked to any costing item. So what you can do is link that to a particular costing item by clicking this button here. And now you can see here, there's an item here, Trust's first floor, let's link that. And now you've successfully linked a brand new category item to that particular category costing item. And from there, you can fill out the rest of the details, GST free and et cetera. And once you're happy with that, go ahead and click create. Now you can see the purchase order item that we created is here. Let's quickly check it out in the costings area, locate the category item. And there it is, Trust's first floor. And click on the icon, it takes you back to the purchase order. And from here, of course, you could then send, receive, edit, and etc. And that concludes the video on how to manage your purchase orders. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for the next video.